Hi, I'm Tina Patel and today I'm going to talk about why a tender package is useful. Although not a statutory requirement, we always find that taking the time to prepare a tender package for a builder to price against is a worthwhile investment. It allows for a whole host of decisions to be considered and made prior to work starting on site and paves the way for a smoother process. The tender package will factor in specifics and your design team should be considering finishes and any fixtures that you want the builder to price for. This may include lighting points for integrated joinery and carpentry, even if they are not supplying this. Because the coordination is done prior to starting on site, it is likely to avoid costs for multiple changes. It will also reduce the chance of abortive work being undertaken on site. A good tender package will also consider the details that allow for a seamless space. For instance, this could be a shower with integrated storage niches and consideration of the position of the dials so that you don't get wet when you first run the shower. Another example would be whether your doorway from the garden is level with your internal space, which is known as a level threshold. If you are having a level threshold, the decision for this needs to be made before the foundation and slab goes down. If this, is, if this is not considered at the outset, then your build team may only start to think about it once doors are being ordered, by which time it is too late or there is a cost to resolve, or even worse, an ad hoc solution is created on site that may cause issues in the long run with incoming rainwater. Thinking about sequencing of when things happen, the decisions that need to be made and when and factoring this into a detailed set of drawings and specifications will mean that your builder can price for it as well as be held accountable as to what they are being asked to produce. This ensures that you know what you are paying for. This does not mean that changes cannot happen on site, but it is likely that they will be minimised and fall within the 10% contingency for the works. You will also be limiting the number of decisions that need to be made relative to the progress on site.